Thank you. For one and a half minutes, Mr. Talichka. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, I think it is clear on counterterrorism that our public uh, requires uh, a decisive engagement uh, of the 28 member states, uh, uh, and the decisive I mean now. What I heard from the Council and also what we have uh, seen in terms of leaked information is by no means meeting these expectations. I also believe that we need to be willing to intervene politically in crises that are affecting our security, but if the need be, also in military terms. I'm not sure we are sufficiently aware of that, the fact that our security is being affected also outside Europe. Now on a few points, a few emphases on uh, arms trafficking. Many of the deaths, many of the terrorist attacks in Europe were committed by European arms. European arms are being used by the Islamic State. European arms are used by the separatists. Something is wrong, ladies and gentlemen. We need to review the EU rules uh, in this respect. We need to be able to track down, destroy. We need to monitor where our arms are going. So I would very much welcome and call on the Commission to come quickly with concrete proposals. On the border controls, I'm happy that we don't hear today too much of free movement, but what is clear, we need to strengthen our border controls. And we also need to focus on the EU nationals that, that are entering and exiting uh, the EU territory. Final remark uh, on uh, the third countries. I think that we should not miss out on the fact that we need to work, strengthen the intelligence of our countries in the north of Africa, in Maghreb, in the Middle East, and we need to work with them. And this is something that should not be neglected. Final remark, just one sentence on, on Greece. Okay, Madam Chairman, I respect it.